What is up everybody? Josh here and welcome to the channel. I gotta tell you, I'm pretty excited to be making this first video here for the channel. I'm on my way out to the lake right now to do some cat fishing, but I wanted to get this first video up on the channel just to introduce myself and what this channel is gonna be about and what you can expect going forward. All right guys, what's happening? Like I said, it's a beautiful day right now. It is a Thursday about, let's see, 76 degrees. The winds are four miles an hour from the east. About as nice as it gets. I am primarily a cat fisherman. I like to catfish. I do like to fish for carp and some other bottom fish as well, but primarily I do cat fishing and I do it from a boat. And this channel specifically, what I want it to be about is not being a seasoned cat fisherman necessarily. You see all the other channels where everybody's got their videos of catching catfish or giving you tips and tricks and it seems like they're always just hauling in a, a bunch of good ones. And while that may be true some days for me, a lot of the days it's not. And I know for a fact just from watching those other channels that I love to watch that I'm not as good as those guys. So I figured in my head there has to be other people that are more beginner cat fishermen, especially if you're new to boating as well, which I'm not necessarily a newbie at boating, but I am newer than a lot of the guys that have been doing it for 10, 20 years. And I fish from a small 16 foot Tracker Pro 160 that I just picked up this spring. So I want this channel to be really geared towards learning the ropes and catfishing from these small boats on lakes, rivers, whatever the case may be, but kind of learning together and you know sharing my trips out catfishing with all of you, whatever the case may be. Like I said, there might be some carp fishing mixed in, but small boat fishing and learning some of the, the new gear, technology, and everything that's coming out together and just seeing how it goes. Let's let's see what kind of fish we catch over the next few years or for however long I can get an audience to this channel. Let's uh, see where everything takes us, catch some fish, learn as much as we can about boats, avoid some critical mistakes that I know that I've made so I will help all of you not make the same mistakes. But for anybody who is catfishing from a small boat and not one of those sea arcs or you know a bigger boat just loaded with gear hopefully this channel can do a lot to help you out so like i said guys super excited to have you all watching super excited for any of you that subscribe and come back for more videos i go fishing i try and go at least once a week usually more than that so we should have plenty of content at all times for this channel unless it's you know december and i'm not out ice fishing that kind of deal but right now we are going to get some fishing in today we are heading out to clinton lake here in central illinois again it's about perfect day 76 sunny four mile an hour winds going to be taking the boat out showing you the boat showing you the gear that i use and hopefully catching some catfish here for the video for you as well so today guys when we get to the lake and we start fishing i'm going to be using um, several poles but for bait, we're gonna be sticking with stink bait. I'm going for channel catfish today. Uh, not necessarily going for a record size fish, although it'd be nice, you know, anything three, four, five, five pounds or bigger would be great on a day like today, especially since I'm taking that risk and going kind of midday when the bite is known to be a little bit slower, but we're gonna stick with some blood bait and some cheese bait from Sunny's, and I will show you guys all of that here as soon as we get the boat loaded up and get going. I absolutely hate is when people park in boat trailer parking with no trailer. Learn lake etiquette, people, if you buy a boat. Simple stuff like that really makes people pretty angry, so don't be that guy. All right, enough rant. Let's get out and let's get ready to fish camera down here guys while I get some of my gear out of the back of the car. This here is just a remote for my spotlight I put on the front in case I end up fishing past dark. Always, always remember your boat plug and put it in. Why? Because that would suck. 
And guys, I like to get my, my trolling motor all set up right now instead of when I'm in the water. It's just easier when you're flat footed, not rocking on the boat, get her plugged in, get her all ready to rock and roll and unstrap. Right, guys, so for the most part, the boat's all ready to go. I will be right back here in a second once I get it down by the water. Awesome day out for it. Perfect day. Don't know if I'll catch anything. Still a good day. Man, that state police boat, it had some motors on it. Two big old 350s. Just walking right back down onto the boat here. Hopefully we avoid that police boat's wake for a minute. Undo the dock rope here and get out there fishing. Just gonna give her a push off here. We're gonna sit down and get her moving. All right guys, we are moving. We are on water. Time to go find us some fish. Just kind of doing a little trolling pace right now. Making sure I got all my stuff. Not even going five miles an hour. I'm in no rush. These tracker boats though, guys, these are, these are nice little boats for what they cost. Again, I got the Pro 160. I'll show you guys when I get back to the garage some of the upgrades I've done. I've got some rod holders, some inside of the boat LED lights, spotlight on the front. A couple things going on, but overall for the price of this boat, I know you could probably build your own used, but I'm not that experienced with boat parts, so this is what I wanted to do. Alright guys, we are fishing now. I just got the poles out in the water. I decided to go off into kind of a little cove here off of the lake and give you a little bit of a view. There's one pole out there, kind of fanning that stink bait out too. And then this guy here, but the spot that I usually like to fish was, had a bunch of people back in there for some reason. Then I saw this cove this activity right here on the fish finder it's not the best fish finder on the planet it's kind of a basic uh 4x the hook by Lawrence, but looked okay to me Looked like we got some school of bait fish and then some activity down on the bottom so i wanted to give it a try here but we'll see if we can strum up any action and catch us some fish otherwise we'll give it a few minutes and move spots